Hello, and today I wanted to try and go ahead and answer a question that's been held by many people, including me. Um, that is, who is the iPad for, and is it for me? Um, now, this this be becomes more, more pertinent now, um, at least with the UK customers, and uh, um, as you most of you guys will know, I'm from the UK. It becomes more pertinent now that we know what the UK price is. On um, Monday, May 10th, uh, iPad pre-orders. Uh, iPad went on pre-order here in the UK by Apple's online store and when Apple dropped the bombshell of the UK pricing it, sh it shocked a lot of people um, uh, it's £429 in the UK for the entry level 16GB Wi-Fi only model that's comparison to $499 in the US for the same model. Now, even considering the current exchange rate, that that is an astronomically unfair price. Now, Apple have always said that the reason why they um, favour US customers as opposed to international customers is because of increased shipping costs that they have to and um, therefore pass on to the international customers. So that's my that's my little spiel on the, on the pricing. I think even considering the current extra strain rate for this country, which is really bad at the moment, I think even then that is an astronomically unfair price tag. But that's just my opinion on that. Now, as as a nice little segue onto my next point, um, that has a lot of bearing on whether a lot of people are going are going to get the iPad. Now, I initially thought if it's uh, over, three, if it's uh, just over uh, two hundred and fifty pounds, then I'll get it. Um, but my opinion has changed a little bit with that price tag. So now let's talk about who the iPad's for. First I want to say that contrary to what a lot of people have been saying, this device is not appropriate for everybody. And Apple knew that when they were creating it. When you plan a device or when you create a device you have to have a target dem demographic in mind and your target demographic can't just be everyone on, uh, everybody on the globe. So let's let's talk. Start by talking a little bit about who this device is not for, um, and I'll talk about how this relates to me in a second. It's probably not for someone who has a laptop, a netbook, and a smartphone because the the, the device slots. Um, the, the, the device is kind of in between all those things and if you have all those things then you probably don't need an iPad um, le let's just compare the iPad to netbooks for a minute because um, that's what it's been compared to in a lot of the um, in a lot of the um, press and uh, consumer hype when Steve Jobs announced the iPad he made no secret of saying that he doesn't like netbooks and he wanted to create an, ent an entirely new category of device other, th other than the netbook because um, netbooks are underpowered and um, uh, various other things the, the iPad cannot be compared to a netbook because it is a walled garden device and is a lot better optimised for its touch operating system than the netbook would be. So I just want to kind of hit that, hit that comparison on the head before I talk about um, 
what I think of the device. Now, um, so I've said it's not for someone who has a laptop, a netbook, and a smartphone. Um, this device is great for someone who does a lot of reading, but also needs a, per a portable internet device because of also because of obviously iBooks and the great um, and the great web experience. This is great for someone, and this is where I I slot in, and I'm not sure whether I'm going to be getting an iPad or not. But it's great for someone who what needs internet on the go but doesn't want to pay the contract like you get on a on a phone because the um, the iPad has f 3G that you can pay for but it's not under a contract so you can cancel it anytime you like so I think that's what really sets it apart from the mobile crowd who only need internet occasionally which is me I could see myself going on a long car trip with with a 3G iPad and really, really enjoying myself. So I think, at least for my use case, um, that that's what the iPad would be would be great for. Again, I'm not sure if I'll be getting one, but I think that is the biggest use case of the iPad, and at least for me, the iPad 3G. Um, so that's where I think the iPad really slots in. Well, I think it's good for artists who need sort of a graphics tablet, but they can do a bit more. Um, I think it's great for certain use cases like web browsing, um, reading books, and drawing applications, and everything else is an added bonus. I think if you need one of those, if you need to be able to do one of those applications and you just want a bit more um, together with it, I think that's where the iPad will slot in great for you. Anyway, what are your thoughts on this topic? I'm interested to hear your opinions, any suggestions you might have, um, give your thoughts in the comments. Also tell me if you all be getting an iPad and we can just set a dialogue going. I want to hear your thoughts. Um, so thanks for watching this video. If you'd like to follow me on Twitter, my Twitter username is www.twitter.com slash TomRogers12. Follow me on there and I'll have updates as to when I'm filming and all kinds of other personal stuff that you don't necessarily get in my videos. If you want to my, my other tech blog, you can go to www.technobuffalo.com forward slash future tech. I've got more kind of um, written articles over there. It's a great place to go if you want links to of this. Anyway, thanks for watching this video and I hope you've enjoyed it. Thank you.